Hello and welcome to my uh, video series. Um, I'm today we're going to learn about the computers. Um, this is my first episode. You should watch them in order because we're going to get more uh, that um, we're going to get more uh, difficult as we go along. So you need to be listening and you need to be taking notes because this is going to go fast and you're going to love it. Then you can watch the videos and you're gonna you're gonna love it. So today we are going to talk about the basics, the basics of computing. So. As you can see, I've got my my machine. It's a uh, Windows uh, 98. Uh, um, Windows 98. It's a good edition. Now you, there's all kinds of uh, different Windows that you can buy. There's the uh, sevens and the eights right now. But uh, I prefer the uh, the Windows 98 because it is old and therefore mature. It is good, stable operating system, and it costs uh, very little to buy. I bought it from seller in Uganda. He gave it to me for thirty dollars, and I looked it up. And apparently, the sevens and the eights can cost uh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I got a pretty good deal on the ninety eights. I bought this a couple of years ago, and I installed it, and everything worked good. So now we're working with this. Uh, we got sixteen colors, uh, six forty by four eighty resolution. Resolution is how many pixels are in your screen. Alright, okay, and I uh, 16 colors, that means it's got 16 colors to choose from. As you can see, it looks very good, very realistic. Looks like it was drawn with crayon, it's kind of rustic, it's, it's good, it's good stuff, it's, it's good, it's very good. Well, anyway, so we got our, we got our computer, we got our uh, operating system. Uh, yeah, we, this, uh, yup. Yeah. So now, what we're going to do, is I'm going to show you the basics of the, uh, the, the, the programmings, because... If you want to do anything with your computer, the system needs to be told what to do, so we can tell it what to do with your computer code. And I'm going to teach you the various kinds of computer code there are. But first, we need to get into some more basics. So first, I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how to do the uh, the, uh, the the programs. Um. Uh, first, we're going to talk about the uh, the uh, integrated development environment. Now, an integrated development environment requires a uh, very careful thought. You need to think about what you want to buy or what you want to use. So, there's all kinds. There's a uh, there's, uh, there's, uh, notepad and there's a uh, notepad++ plus plus and other things. Now, me, I prefer, uh, I prefer, I prefer the good, I prefer uh, notepad. Notepad is a very good application. This is top notch. Very good, it's useful, it's stable. Look at that. I tap in the letter, it comes on the screen, I never gets it wrong. I never gets it wrong. Very good, very, very good. So now let's delete it. Alright, now you can code any type of language you want to in Notepad, whereas if you were to use another integrated development environment, you would have to use one for a specific uh, specific purpose, so it doesn't work too well. So you can use Notepad for everything. Now, I know there's also other ones, there's uh, the Sublime Texts and other such uh, tools, but um, I've used these and I've confirmed with my uh, sources that these were made by illegal hacker groups and therefore you should not use these programs or you will be illegaling, so you need to not do that. So we don't use illegal programs, we use Notepad, which was made by Microsoft, very good company. I used to work there as a custodian for 16 years, very good company. But now, another thing you should also know is there's other restricted softwares that you should not use. There's the, uh, you should not use the, uh, the Linux and, and uh, others, uh, the others, uh, free, the free, the free, o, the free, o, the systems, the free systems. You should not use any of the free systems because they are made also by the uh, illegal hacker groups. And you should not use those because you will get virus, and that's not good. Because the, the Windows, you can't get virus because it is made by proprietary, and proprietary is always the way to go. So we'll use proprietary. That's why I'm on Windows 98. We're using the proprietary Notepad. That's a good. That's good. You can also use the Notepad++, but that one is not good because it is too bulky. This is nice, lightweight. It works. Everything is good. It never makes mistakes. I type in JG, comes on screen. So everything's good. So first, before we can even code, we must know how to use. Now, as I said, we type on the screen and letters come up. Enter goes down. See, I hit the enter key, it goes down. We hit the backspace, it goes up. The, 
backspace, it goes up and then down and left, and then it deletes the, 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 the letters on the screen. And then we can hit the others and we can make code. This is not code, this is an example of uh, typing. Now we're going to delete that. Okay. Now you must, now before we, uh, now before we get into the other things, we must talk about, uh, uh, actually never mind, there's nothing to talk about now. We're ready to go. We got everything we need. We got the integrated development environment. We got the system. We got everything. It's good to go. Um, I like it. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and use it. So now we're going to learn how to code next video. So I hope you enjoyed these uh, series. And this is going to be fun. You're going to learn a lot. And uh, I'll see you next video. We'll be learning about the uh, the, uh, the Hutmuls. The Hutmuls. The Hutmul. We'll be learning about the Hutmul next time. It's a very good language. I can code all kinds of things. We're going to show you a simple Hello World application. It's going to be great. Goodbye.